my grandparents on my mom's side have been dead since 97. They've been dead for quite a while. And I will have dreams about them you know, once in a while. And my grandpa, he was very active. He, you know, he lived well into his 80s. And you wouldn't know it because he was just so active. He was around, you know, he wasn't in any way, <clears throat> you know, I guess you could call it disabled would be the politically correct term. Um, you know, it was just a normal, normal person. Plus, he had the personality that all of the grandkids absolutely loved. He absolutely, he got along with everybody. Just everybody. And... It was a dream that I had. Um, <clears throat> it. I had. I. I can remember actually having this dream right after my grandparents died, and I had a very similar dream um, a few nights ago. Uh, along the same lines. It. When it's it's nothing I really want to go into any detail about, but basically, when my grandpa died or the night that he died, um, there was a big snowstorm and he was out shoveling snow, and he had he had a heart attack while he was doing this, and I never did see the body. Uh, the funeral services, the roads are so bad. Uh, the ambulance and the funeral, whoever, they had already taken him away. And it took us, you know, he only they only lived about 20, 25 minutes, but it took us almost an hour because there was a big snowstorm that day. And my old, my dad's old S10 that he had, no weight in the back and bolt tires, I mean, it literally took us an hour to get there. It was horrible. So every everything was, you know, long done by the time we got there. And... <sighs> The the dream that I will have or that I have had in the past, and I'll think about, but I haven't really had since then. But I did have a couple nights ago, was me standing on the night. It was the night that he died, and basically the dream went that it was snowing out really bad, and I could hear the the weather report radio coming from somewhere that there was a lot of snow, ambulances weren't going to be able to get around, uh, police weren't going to be able to get around, it was just horrible. And I'm standing at the end of the driveway and I can see all this snow. And I'm looking at the very back. My, my grandparents, they had a detached garage. And behind the house was a deck. And that's where he was shoveling for some reason. He was shoveling a path. Nobody knows why. I think he was just shoveling from the side door to the back door to make it easier to get around, I think. Or maybe to the garage. Again, nobody knows. But the detached garage, I was looking straight at it from the driveway. The house was on the left. The detached garage was right straight ahead. And I could see him in between the house and the garage shoveling. And I <clears throat> saw that he was starting to struggle. And... The only thing I could think about was calling 911 and racing over there and maybe getting ready to do CPR or whatever I had to do because I didn't want him to die. And I started screaming in the dream at him, telling him to stop shoveling, stop shoveling. And he looked up at me and he said, uh, oh, don't you worry about it. You know, he, had, he was a head of southern accent because uh, they were all from Arkansas. But... Uh, you know, he's, you know, don't you worry about it, I'm fine, and I remember I looked down at my feet, and I must have had snow way up to my knees, and I tried to to run over there to him, and I couldn't because the snow was so deep, and, you know, I started yelling at the neighbors, you know, call 911, whatever, and he's, he's standing there, and he looks at me, and he gives me this big old smile, he gives me a wave, 
And he said, I'm always with you. Don't worry about anything. I'll always be with you or something like that. And <clears throat> he just kind of fell back into the snow. And I just, I started screaming. I was crying. And, you know, all these emotions of my grandparents dying came all back to me all at once. And there wasn't anything I could do. And I just basically stood there and almost kind of just let him die. And it was, it was you know, quite emotional for me, actually. But anyways, uh, that was a very difficult dream, actually, for me.